Thank you for watching K-Texas News at 6. I'm Farrah Walton. And I'm Will Jensen. We start tonight with continuing coverage on a week of conversations at Abilene Christian University. Those conversations about what the Bible says about sexuality and relationships. But they left some students feeling targeted and singled out. K-Texas reporter Karina Hollingsworth has more on this story. An ACU alumna told me Holy Sexuality Week caused concerns for the well-being of LGBTQ plus students on campus. Those concerns led to Wildcats for Inclusion, an open letter to ACU's president. I think the, the, the messaging that really that really bothered us the most was the suggestion that that the that the opposite of of homosexuality is holiness. The open letter quoted students describing what they experienced during Holy Sexuality Week. One student said, I was harassed online by a fellow student. I was called a homo and was told to get off our campus. Experience like this motivated grad student Mackenzie Morrison to sign the petition. I felt moved to sign because I really appreciated the things they were saying and um, I think conversation is important rather than just um, one sided lectures. The open letter penned by ACU alumni also asked the university to reopen discussions regarding the sexual stewardship policy stating marriage is between a man and a woman claiming the policy is harmful. President Schubert responded via email and uh, let us know that the board would be taking up the sexual stewardship policy, which is the underpinning of Holy, Holy Sexuality Week, that they would be taking up that issue at their meeting in January. I think because of what is happening across our society, that's always a discussion that remains relevant for our board and the administration. So moving forward, there will continue to be discussion about the policy and whether or not we continue to be committed to that interpretation, which I fully expect that we will. In the open letter, one student claimed they overheard another student saying, yeah, all gay people deserve to die. Dr. Schubert says this behavior is not tolerated at ACU, regardless of their beliefs. And any type of behavior and activity uh, that encroaches on bullying or demeaning behavior is just not tolerated here. And so first thing I would say is when we're made aware of that, we investigate those fully and take whatever actions are appropriate to ensure that those things don't happen on our campus. Dr. Schubert told me after receiving an overall good response from students, the university plans to host Holy Sexuality Week again next year. In Abilene, I'm Karina Hollingsworth, K-Texas News.